So in this video, I'm going to show you a Shopify POS tutorial. So how do you set up and use Shopify POS effectively? So let's get started. So first, uh, if you don't have your Shopify account yet, you might want to create or sign up for a new account first. So now after signing up, you will be redirected to this home page. So this will be the home page of Shopify. Now from here in the home page, you'll see in the left hand side all of the features and buttons that you can interact with. So these are the features of Shopify. So first in the home page, you'll see this setup guide. So this will help you set up and or a use this personal personalized guide to get your store up and running. So if you want help in setting up your store, you can just simply use this guide. And from here, you'll see orders, products, customers, content, and many more. Now, you can also set up your online store right here. So when you click on online store, you will see themes right here. So as the, the default team is the Dawn team. So I just uh, changed mine to the Sense team. So to view your online store, just click on the eye icon right here. And this, uh, this is how your online store should look like. So this is how I customized mine. So I haven't really customized it yet, but this is how it should look like. So now let's go back to our homepage. Now from here, you can also see orders. So from here, you can create orders. So all of the orders when someone purchased a product from you will show up here. Also, there's this drafts right here, so you can create a draft order and abandon checkouts. Next is products, so you'll see all of your products listed right here. You'll see it in the inventory, sales channels, so you'll see the status, if it's active or inactive. You can also see uh, if it's out of stock. So as you can see in the uh, drop down menu of products, you will see your collections too, inventory, purchase orders. Uh, transfers and gift cards. Now next is customers. So from here you can simply import or add customers. So when you click on add customer, you will add a customer manually. Now if you select import, you can simply import customers by CSV files. Also your customers can be uh, arranged by segments right here as you can see. Now let's move on to content. So you'll see uh, you'll see the meta objects right here. So you'll see contents. So you can just simply create and add definitions. So this could be for the variants of your products. So you can just simply explore uh, everything that is right here. Next is analytics. So for here in analytics, uh, you'll see graphs. So let's just wait for them to load. So as you can see, you'll see total sales, sales by channel, online store sessions, and many more analytics. So this will help businesses uh, make accurate decisions and see the performance of their business. You can also see reports right here in live view. Now let's go on to marketing. As you can see right here, it's, all, it's also a analytics for your marketing management. So you'll see campaigns too and uh, automations and discounts right here. So if you want to create discounts for your products, uh, you can do it right here. Now let's head over to the point of sale. So setting up your POS should be right here. Now you'll be asked, so where do you want to sell in person? So you can see at markets, fair and pop-ups or in my own brick and mortar store. So I think you can also skip this part. So let's just click on get started. And now from here, so you'll need to upgrade to POS Pro and enjoy your first month for $1 per location. So it depends on your stores. So as you can see right here, you'll see the POS setup guide. 
So from here, you'll be going to set up your POS. So first is add products. So I have already added my products. So if you haven't yet, you might want to go to your products here. Click on add product in the right hand side, the top right. And as you can see, you can add the product title right here, the description, the media. So uh, let's say uh, you're be adding a t-shirt product, so add a description, and then you'll need to upload the photo in the media. So as you can see right here, I have added some photos already. You can also select the category, the pricing, inventory, and shipping. Now let's go back to our POS. So the next thing you want to do is to right here, get the point of sale app. So you'll need to scan this QR code and send yourself the link to get the app. So the POS app is where you'll make sales, accept payments, and look up customers info when selling in person. Next is order hardware accessories. So you just simply click here on view supported hardware. It will take you to a new tab. So I think this is just an article. So as you can see right here, these are the supported POS hardwares. So you'll see uh, MPOP printers and cache drawer, card readers, legacy card readers, cache drawers. So this is, these are all the supported hardware. Now you want to go to uh, store settings right here. So you need to set up a payment provider. So simply click here and click on set up payments. Now it will redirect you to the payments right here. So you can simply choose a provider. So select your payment method from here. So if you can't see your payment method right here in the third party payment providers, you can simply go back and select here on supported payment methods. Just click on add payment method. So you can either search for, by payment method or by provider. Now let's go back. After setting up your payment method, you can simply click here to get ready to sell in person. So click on set up sales tax and click here on set up taxes. Now from here in taxes and duties, you can simply uh, select the apps right here or duties and import taxes. You can click here to compare plans. So you'll need to upgrade to advanced Shopify. So this won't work in the free version of Spotify or of Shopify. So you'll need to upgrade your plan. And now that you are done setting up your POS, so you're good to go. So the next thing that you'll need to do is learn more about how to use Shopify effectively. So just play around the settings right here. So you'll need to have a good online store. So from here in the online store tab, you can see themes, blog posts, you can create blog posts right here. You will see pages. So this is the pages of your online store. You can select navigation. So from navigation, you can edit your menus, your filters. And for preferences, you can simply edit the settings right here. So you can add title and meta description, social sharing image, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, password protection, spam protection, and all that. Now, after setting up your POS, you can see staff right here. So to unlock the staff management features, you need to upgrade to POS Pro. So if you have already upgraded, you can simply add your staff right there. You can also add store locations right here in locations and the settings of your POS. So that's basically it. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.